second type of function is just an extension on the first type. So the first type is called a procedure, which was a mini program within a program that performs a single task and is reusable. So we're going to create a function here. And a function is, again, a reusable mini program. Did I saw reusable again. Yeah. Reusable mini program within a program that performs a single task. but most importantly returns a result to the programmer emphasize programmer not the user this does not mean that the result is displayed on the screen in any way shape or form so some examples of functions that you've already been using things like um, pow sqrt next line these are all things that return values back to you as a programmer whenever you use them. When you do next line, it gives you back the data the user typed in. When you do pow, it gives you the result of the exponent functionality. If you do square root, it gives you the square root result, assuming you give it proper valid data. Other than that, a function, when we define it, works the same way that when we define a procedure. We just have to set up the structure and do a few modifications over what we saw before. Now, going back to um, Eclipse, let's take a look at that. So in order to find a procedure, we did private, static, void, identifier, identifier, and then we had all of our parameters inside of here. So uh, different type, type 1, identifier 1, etc. Right? And however many we needed. Now, inside of here, we just did some code. Code to execute when called. Now the difference here is that a function requires something. A function requires us to return a result, requires the subprogram to return a result. So in order to do that, we have to set up a few other things. We're going to modify some things. First of all, void is not going to be void anymore. Void represents the type of data to be returned by the subprogram. So it all depends on what that subprogram is doing. So if I were to create a simple subprogram that was going to calculate the area of a floor, let's say a nice rectangular floor, that's maybe used, maybe that data is going to be used later on to calculate the cost of carpeted or something along those lines. Um, basically, we're going to set up the same private static, but now I have to decide, well, what type of data am I going to be calculating? Well, I'm measuring a floor. And you, you, units of measure, depending on what you're using, probably feet, maybe meters, uh, but you're not going to be using millimeters. That's going to be ridiculous. So the odds of you having a perfect foot or a perfect meter are pretty low, which means we're probably going to have decimals, so we're going to need to return a double. Now I need to give it a identifier. And just like our identifiers for our procedures, again, we use mixed case, and it needs to be descriptive of what it's doing. In this case, I'm going to say calc floor area. Clear. It's very clear that I'm calculating the area of a floor here. And now I need to set up any parameters I need. Well, I'm calculating the area of a rectangle. And we know that the area of a rectangle is length times width. So the data I'm going to need to calculate that is the length and width. And these, again, are going to be measurements probably in feet or meters. So they're going to need to be doubles double length and double width. And we have our opening and closing braces. Now, um, I'm just going to comment out this code above here because it's causing problems because the way I wrote the parameters. There we go. Now inside of here, it's complaining right now. We see this, we put our mouse over here, it says uh, multiple markers of this line, the method uh, from type main is never used locally. Yes, we know that. And the method must return a result of type double. We're not returning any results at this point. So let's do the work first. So in order to calculate the area of the rectangle, we, we're, we're going to need a local variable to store that area. So let's say double area. And now I'm going to say area is equal to length times width. This is not anything breakthrough or anything like that. And now I have to finish it off. Every single, every single function is going to end in the same way. Return, keyword, keyword return, and then whatever it is you plan on returning. I could just as easily return 7.5, but that means every time you call calc floor area, you're going to get 7.5. Not the most useful functionality there is. I actually want to return the value I just calculated. 
So I'm going to say return area. We see that it's no longer complaining. Yay. Excellent. So we've actually set it up where we can actually do the work. So we're creating a variable called area, we're calculating it, and then we're returning the result. The result is not displayed on the to the screen. The user doesn't even know that this functionality took place. And it's not going to know unless we as programmers do something about it. It's up to us as programmers to take that result and then do something effective with it. And that's going to be the purpose of the next video.